I'm going to show you a different way of accessing the FOSCAM, administering FOSCAM, even if you don't have the IP camera to installed. Basically, you just need a couple of things. First, you'll need access to the, uh, your router. Now, my router's IP, my router's default IP is 192.168.1.1. And the reason why I mentioned that you need your admin's, sorry, your router's access is because through here, you can see which devices are connected to your network. So for example, I have an iPhone, I have a, um, other devices, so I can start ruling things out. And for this FOSCAN, I know that this one stands out. This is not one that um, that's occupied by the computer, by the FOSCAN, uh, by the webcam. So I'm just going to copy that IP address and paste it into another browser window. Now, this comes up. And it doesn't say FOSCAM, but I know this is the FOSCAM admin, so I'm just going to log in with the FOSCAM default user ID and password, the admin for user ID and admin for password. There, I'm in. What's different between this FOSCAM and the previous FOSCAM is the previous FOSCAM, you first load this page, then choose what you want, and it'll ask you for your prompt you for your username and password. For some odd reason, now they're prompting you for your username and password first, then you can choose which one you want. So, uh, mentioned before, the model I have here is the FI9820W. This is the HD FOSCAM, the one megapixel camera. And also, because I'm using Internet Explorer, I'll need to install the ActiveX component. So let me just click download first. I'm just, let me just run this um, ActiveX install. This ActiveX install seems a little bit bigger than the other previous ones. The previous one for the MPEG model FOSCAMs, like the 10W, 18W, those were, you can install like that, it's very quick. Let's go through this setup, install, yes. This ActiveX install is only used by Internet Explorer, whereas if you either use Firefox, Chrome, Safari, you're going to need to install QuickTime because of the H.264 encryption. All right, I'm going to click Finish. Okay, now that that's been installed, I'm going to click Login. It could be that this is just the uh, first time I'm logging in. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer. On the lower right side, I see that it was trying to download all the components to it. Oh, okay, it's connected. There. Now it's basically installed. I can view it from a computer. Let me try moving it too. Okay. It moves quite well. Uh, first thing I notice is the... Uh, I don't have the... For example, if you're account by north, northeast, north, uh, southeast, it's only up, down, left, right. Not Nothing diagonal. So all the diagonal buttons are now gone. And... Uh, the, the GUI is a bit different. Well, now let's finish setting up the wireless piece because this is a wireless webcam after all. Alright, so the wireless enable. I'm going to enable my wireless. I'm going to search for the SSID. which is basically your wireless network name. All right, so here are the names I found. Let me just pick mine. Populated the name. My security, I just need to put in my security key. And again, well, what's useful this time is that it has a check button. Just noticed. So if I type in the wrong password, it'll tell me. So I think some in the previous versions of the uh, this 
firmware, firmware with the other models, people will pop, uh, populate their wireless information, unplug it, and then say, hey, my FOSCAM's not working. Why isn't the wireless working? As so now, you have a, a check button here that allow you to first check if your wireless connection is successful before you actually unplug it from the um, from the router. All right, so my connection, my setup, everything is successful. I'm gonna hit close. Then I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, now and let's see. I guess one th one other thing I can do is basically specify an IP address to use. So right now it's, it's dynamically installed, uh, it's assign a, um, the router assigns IP address to this thing dynamically. What I could do is hard code the IP address. So I'm gonna choose one that's like 120, for example. This way I'll always know which IP to use to connect to the FOSCAM. I'm gonna leave the port as port 80 and everything else the same and just hit apply. Okay, my IP and port has changed. I need to reconnect. It's because now it's got a new, it's been assigned a new IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.120. Well, there you go. This is the FOSCAM. Oh, let me just show you what this one is. This is the for iPhone smartphones. And I must say the, the, the quality image, very small quality. Nah, not that great. The, uh, the video quality for just the viewing through Internet Explorer, much better. And later on, I'll be doing a comparison between this FOSCAM and the FI, which one is this? FI 9889, sorry, FI 8910W. This is the uh, a comparable model, except that this one is not one megapixel. And this one is the MPEG video compression, not the H.264. Well, thanks for watching Walker Hamster. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Bye.